Um, they are all from South America. Anything? Except that one. Right. So that one's from Africa, and that one is one of the many from South America. Can you think of an evolutionary scenario uh, that could have resulted in uh, that situation? You have one species in Africa and 3,000 species in South America. And, well, I guess, so, you, the, so they, if they derive from one common ancestor in, in South America, and uh, they then speciated, so they were different species. Um, so I'm presuming that the population has been fragmented at some point, uh, and then exposed to different selective pressures, mm -hmm. uh, which have then resulted in having distinct species that are no longer. But how did this one come to be in Africa, all of a sudden? So this one was from South America originally, or was it from? Well, what are the, that's one solution. Okay. So you're saying that they they evolved from the, a unique common ancestor in South America, and then this one legged it across the, the, <laughs> <laughs> across the um, Atlantic. <laughs> Well, as in, I get is in from uh, tectonic plate movement that's helped me do. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Well, now that opens up another kind of way, doesn't it? Because if if the continents have moved around and Africa and South America all once joined together as part of Gondwana land, that might be a different scenario. Than that. What what scenario could, does that open up the possibility for? Um, if South America and America and Africa all once joined. What, how could we then account for the fact that one is in Africa while the rest are in South America? Well, I guess the original distribution when the two continents were joined would have been just the way that they split. Right. And, one moved. and so this got left behind? Yeah. So it's all dead. I mean, it seems unlikely that you have. Less unlikely than it, the seed being taken from South America to Africa? I mean, uh, I don't you know how old we're talking. If there, if there were human factors involved, then oh, right. that, could, that would have to see transport. Right, so humans might have taken it. Yeah, Very good. Possible. No, absolutely right. It, it's quite quite possible. How else might you... What, else, uh, what other evidence would you like to find to support the idea that this was left... This, this is a relic? Um, well, I guess you need to look at sort of the, the genome of the plant. And then okay. compare yeah. it to one still in, in South America and then see sort of how much evolution has taken place between those and then you can see very good. Perhaps work out the time point at which that diversity occurred. Right. 